Well, hello everybody. I'm super excited to be bringing you this Bible review today. Um, I'm pretty excited about uh, a, a relatively new feature that Tyndale has, has put out uh, called the filament. It's a, this is a filament enabled Bible and I'm excited to share it with you. These are beautiful Bibles. I wanna say a big thank you to Tyndale for sending them to me so I can review them and show you what's out there. So let's get into them. Uh, first, these two Bibles are essentially exactly the same with the exception of the large print. And we'll go over and the actual physical size of the Bible. Um, so I will measure the specs out differently, but as we're going through the Bible, I'll essentially only be going through one because the features inside are the same. So let's get into the Bibles um, and what this filament app means towards the end there. So these are New Living Translation, Thin Line Reference. Uh, these are both in genuine leather and they are filament enabled, put out by Tyndale. So they come in a really nice box. Um, I always appreciate when Bibles come in nice boxes because if you want to store your Bible or if you move a lot or whatever the case may be is you can stick them back in the box and it protects them a lot better than just some of those little kind of cardboardy slip covers. And the box of course gives us some information. So if you want to stop and pause on those, you can see we're going to talk about this stuff. Uh, this side is what's in the Bible. This is a little bit about the filament app. So these filament enabled Bibles are really super cool. This, I think this technology is, is very neat um, and very handy. It's basically like having a study Bible with you, but in a, the small size of a thin line reference edition. Um, and, I'm, and I'm excited about it. I really like it. So let's get into some of the specs um, and uh, measure it up for you. And then we'll get into the filament aspect of things. So we have the thin line reference, the standard print in navy blue and the large print in black. Again, both of them are genuine leather. So let's measure them and we'll show you the difference. In the standard print, you're looking at just under six, about five and three quarters by just under nine, about eight and three quarters. And the large print, you're looking at just under seven by nine and three quarters. They are both an inch. So very easily portable, very easy to slip into a purse or a backpack, um, carry around with you, not super heavy. Uh, so they're, they're fantastic Bibles uh, for, for that option, carrying around with you to church. And again, it's like having a study Bible, this little filament app. And we'll show you that in just a minute. So you can see the size difference. It really is not much. So let's open them up and we'll compare the, uh, the fonts as we open them up and get into it. The cover, the, the leather is very, very soft and supple. Um, it, it's not quite as soft as a goat skin, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised. It feels very nice. It looks very nice. And I'm, I love simple Bibles. I don't like a whole lot of stuff on the outside, that's just a personal preference, so I appreciate uh, Tyndale and the work they did on that. And on the spine, Tyndale, Holy Bible, and New Living Translation. It does come with one ribbon. Um, the, one, the one small piece, because I think these are really beautiful Bibles, they really do. Um, the one piece of small constructive criticism that I would give them would be, in a Bible this nice, um, I would like to see another ribbon, one or two more ribbons because I, I like having at least two ribbons, if not three. But that's relatively in, an insignificant piece of constructive criticism. That's just a personal preference. And you can see the silver art gilding. On the black genuine leather, um, you get gold. So gold art gilding. And again, one, one ribbon. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. It does tell you it's genuine leather, the paste down liner. And you get a nice presentation page. I love the presentation pages. Always fill these out. I try to mention that every time. Because you never know in 100 years who's going to be reading through your Bible and wants to know a little bit more about you. Maybe a family member. Okay, so on your title page, this is important. It tells you that it's the New Living Translation of the Holy Bible. Uh, and it's put out by Tyndale, of course. But this right here, 
filament enabled. So this is what you're going to, uh, you're gonna download an app onto your phone. It really is very simple. Looks like this. You go um, either Android or iPhone, you download this filament app. You open up the app, it takes about five seconds to set up an account, um, and you scan this little symbol right here, and it basically matches your Bible to the app and opens up the features that technically come with your Bible in the app. And those features include study notes, videos, maps, profiles, and I'm gonna show you how that worked towards the end. So, if, so make sure that after you've seen this video or you heard about these filament enabled Bibles, if that's what you want, make sure that when you're buying it, it has that little symbol, that filament symbol somewhere on the box or um, in the description because there are, there are New Living Translation Bibles that of course are not filament enabled. So we have all our ISBNs, the different uh, types of leather and stuff that it comes in and colors. You can pause on that if you want to take a look at those and the translation years. Standard table of contents. And then it gives us a little bit um, about like a, the filament enabled Bible. And of course you can go to the websites. You can go to Tyndale's website. I'll put links to um, a lot of this information down in the description, make it easier for you guys. And like all Bibles should have, some type of an introduction to the translation. Who is on the translation team, why they chose to translate it the way they did. The New Living Translation really is written to be, uh, it even says that, this, that in here somewhere. It's written to be read aloud, um, but it, it gives you information on how they translated the Greek or the Hebrew, a little bit of information on your footnotes. So read through that, it's important. At least once, um, if you have a dozen different New Living Translations, you don't have, maybe you don't have to read it every time, but you should read it through every once, once in a while. Uh, and then we get into the text. So in the standard print, um, you're getting 8.75 font. And I really like the fact that there's not too many words like on each line, there's, and there's space in between the lines. Sometimes they, they pack, uh, in the, especially in these smaller Bibles, the thin line Bibles, they pack a lot of words in there and it makes it a little bit more hard to read. The font they chose and the spacing is really nice here. And 8.75 is not too small. Um, I don't have trouble with my eyes, but it, I don't think that even if you wore glasses or something that this is gonna be too small for you. So let me open it up. We're in Genesis here and we're, we're almost laying flat. This is a brand new Bible, but it's doing pretty good considering we're in Genesis. Even towards uh, the beginning of Exodus, you're still laying down. So let me open it up um, a little bit and uh, we'll compare the, the fonts, at least give you an idea. So this is the large print again. Uh, all the same features that I've already talked about. This font is 10.25 and this font is, is beautiful. Um, I, this will probably end up becoming the one that I read the most because it's, it, it's, so it's so easy to read. Um, I like to sit around and just read the New Living Translation. It's such a pleasure to read uh, and it, it might help you understand things in a different way. But this, this font, this 10.25, man, you could set it down on a, on a podium or on a music stand and read it from feet away. And, and really, I don't think you'd have too much trouble. So let's see, it's again, it's always hard via camera, but let's see if we can kind of compare the two fonts, give you an idea at least, um, the difference in size. It's probably hard on the camera, but, but at least you can see. There is a little bit of a difference. Of course, uh, the bigger font is, is gonna be slightly easier to read, but this 8.75 is the font that they chose is so nice that there's, I have no problem even at arm's length, uh, at that arm's length reading it. So let's go through a few more of the features here um, and then we'll get into, um, we'll get into the filament aspect of it. So let's, let's do the test here that I do because this is just a weird little thing. Actually, somebody brought it up on one of the Facebook pages that I'm a part of, uh, starting, starting each chapter on its own page. Um, that's, that's just, for me, I love it. See, it gets its own page. Sometimes they start a, a book, um, not chapter, but they start a book like in the middle here. And I, for some reason that just, I don't know. 
It's uh, just a funny little quirk that I prefer them to start on their own page. And they do, which is nice. So beautiful layout. It definitely does lay lay flat. You can see, well, it might be hard to see the text blocks lining up there as you lay it out. And we'll get into the back and then I want to show you this filament, uh, the filament aspects of the Bible. So it does come with some, some actual, let's call them hard copy maps. Um, and this Tyndale verse finder, uh, this really is pretty cool. Um, and, and the, the visual overview that they've included in here, my fingers are a little cold today for some reason. So I apologize. So it, this is slightly different, not slightly different. This, it's not really a concordance. This is actually kind of cool. So if you are looking for a specific evil, you know, topic, uh, faith, encouragement, it, it gives you a handful of verses on that topic, which is different than just a standard concordance. And I, and I appreciate that because the concordances and Bibles end up, um, they're not exhaustive by any stretch of the imagination and they can be helpful, but I find often on the fly, I'm personally more concerned with topical rather than a specific word study that I'm doing. You know, I'm sitting in the car waiting for an appointment. I'm probably not doing a word study, but I might want to read about evil. Um, so this is actually a very cool, um, very cool feature. Then it has this visual overview of overview of the Bible. I think this is fantastic. Uh, I read through it and looked through these. Um, and like they say here, it can be easy to get lost in the individual stories because the Bible, if you read it from cover to cover, it doesn't happen chronologically. So you could get a little mixed up, but this little overview here will definitely help you with that. What's happening when, it gives you a bunch of cool like maps and significant calendars. And there's even a breakdown of the Psalms in here, um, which Psalms kind of mean which things. Uh, what a fantastic resource in the back of a Bible. All right, now let me show you what the Filament Bible app is. So each page has, of course, a page number. And that little symbol right there is what we are concerned about. So let's say you're reading through Isaiah 33. You open your Filament app. My Wi-Fi here is horrible, so hopefully we do okay. And it's gonna ask you, hey, what do you wanna do? Study, okay? So what um, you're gonna end up doing is scanning page 631, see it tells you. It's hard to do on camera and on the phone at the same time. So you say, yes, page 631 is what I want. That's the page I'm reading. It gives you a whole bunch of study notes on page 631. Look at that. Study Bible, very cool feature. Not only does it give you study notes, it gives you opportunity to reflect. These are like based on the each individual page. You can do this on every page. Some of the videos and some of the um, and some of the devotions are going to be the same because there's you know not eleven hundred different. <laughs> These sections are all similar, of course. Uh, pages right next to each other, but it gives you a couple little devotions. Um, and depending on where you're at, there might be an important map that it wants to show you based on this section that you're, that you're reading through Isaiah 31 to 33, page six. Um, it gives you different interactive map that you can touch on. Okay. And move around and see what's going on. It gives you a little bit of information. It looks like sometimes there's a video. So, um, there are videos that give you a little bit more information, um, and they paired up with the Bible Project. The Bible Project has a ton of good information on their uh, YouTube and on their pages. So what you get with this Bible is more than just a Bible. Again, it's like buying a study Bible, but, but that's very portable and that you can keep in your pocket. Um, and all you gotta do is scan the page and it knows, the app knows what you need to know about this section, Isaiah 31 to 33. Um, and it will tell you about Israel's prophets, and it'll tell you about the divided kingdom. And then you can go back and read some of the study notes on each individual, um, almost like a, a verse for verse uh, commentary on each individual verse. 
Okay, what a cool, super cool feature. Um, and you can study and you can have these two things with you at all times. Most people have their phone in their pocket or in their purse all the time. So I'm super excited about this filament technology. Um, I'm sure it, it will only get better as they add more commentaries. Uh, over through the years, um, there's no doubt more commentary that, that will come out um, or maybe an article or two that they'll slip in there. But I'm glad that I got the opportunity to, to show you this Bible and to show you um, some new features with the uh, filament enabled New Living Translation. So once again, this, this uh, is the New Living Translation Thinline Reference Bibles, large print, standard print, uh, filament enabled Bibles. And I hope that you guys get an opportunity to at least check out, uh, check out the filament options and, and how unique and how neat it is to have a little study Bible right in your pocket that you can carry around everywhere. These are beautiful Bibles. Thanks again, Tyndale, for sending me these. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And I will, of course, as always, do my best to answer them. Have a great day.